pass through all these three beads once again tighten the thread a little and now I enter through the 15 oh on the bottom here and then this 15 oh that we added in the last round and through this all these seed beads Now here, exiting through this 15 o, I will move up through all these beads Now, our next step is to attach the teardrop, the bezeled teardrop to this component. For this, I will come up to this top bead on this side. Now pick up two 15 O's. Now we will pick up our bezeled teardrop and from this side I will enter into this back bead. The tip, the top bead on the back side. Again, pass through this second bead, second 15 o that I added just now. Pick up one 15 o and enter through this 15 o on the other side. Now we will come back through these beads once again. Pass through this back bead of the teardrop. through this 15 o on the top of this top bead and the first 15 o that we added on the same side of this teardrop So here, you have to be very careful while working here. Sometimes the thread gets entangled with this cup chain. So 
you have to be very careful while working here now i have come out from this 15o now moving on to this 11o this 15o 11o and the next 15o on the other side we have attached this first 15o here now i have come out from this second 15o pick up two 15os and now we will pass through the top bead at the front top bead at the front top 11o on this teardrop pick up another two 15os and pass through the second 15o on the other side like this we will go back all through these beads once again first to these 15 holes then the top bead then through these 15 holes and then from this 15 o towards the next one next 15 o like this so after passing through all these uh, both these 15 o's and this one we have come up to the next 15 o now here i will pick up one 11 o red and one 15 o and here we have to work through the third bead from the top we will skip the second one and pass through the third bead from the top Here very gently we have to pass through these beads like this we have added these two beads here now i will go back through these two beads this 15 o and 11 o and again to this 15 o towards the next 15 o like this now here i will pick up three beads one 15 o one 11 o and one 15 o and now again i will skip one bead and enter through the next one from the bottom here from its bottom
like this now i will go back through all these three beads that i just added this 15 o towards the next 15 o like this again i will pick up three beads 115 o 111 o and 115 o and work through this 11 o skipping the one 11 o just after the bead we work through right now Here like this now back into the three beads this 15 o and now we will skip the next 15 o and get into the third one now we will be working with this bead we will pick up 115 o 1 3 mm pearl 115 o and here on the teardrop we will skip two beads now up till now we were skipping one bead but now here we will be skipping two beads and then working with the fourth one So, one we worked just now, skip two, three and fourth we are working with. Now, we will pass through all these three beads back into this 15 o into the 15 o's here. now i will enter through the 15 o with which we made the pearl chain i will pass through these two pearls enter through this sorry these two three i would i have just come out from these two 15 o's through this pearl from here and through these beads here through be now just before now we i'm uh, exiting through this 11 o just before this 15 o you must be remembering that we had added two 15 o's on the top of this pearl chain so here i'm exiting from this 11 o just before this first 15 o now here we would be entering through these two seed beads so for this this seed bead with which we have worked this pearl string we will count one two after that and then two enter through these two we 
would pass through these two like this and now we will pass through the 11 o just after this second 15 o here we will be entering through the 11 o before the first 15 o and we will exit through this 11 o just after the second 15 o and then through all these beads through all these beads and then here towards this 15 so here I will come out from this So, after this bead 1, 2, we will skip these two 15 o's and work through this one, the next one. So for this now I will pick up one fifteen o, one three mm pearl, and one fifteen o. Now counting from here, I will skip two beads. Here one two, and these two beads we just attached to the top uh, to this bottom chain. After these two. now these two beads were attached so now counting from here i will skip these two and enter into this third bead Now I will move back from all these beads here into this fifteen o leaving the next fifteen o and exiting through the third one
we have to work through the next 15 here here like this now I will pick up 115 o 111 o and 115 o now from this bead skip two beads and pass through the third one we work through this we'll skip these two and now We will be working through this 11 -0. Now I will move back from these beads. into this 11 o now here you have to work very patiently through this next 15 o here again I will be picking a 115 o 111 o red and 115 o and now I will skip one bead here and enter through the next one. Just as we did on the other side. So I have picked up three beads and uh, here I am working through this bead here. into this bead and back into all these three beads now I will Go through this fifteen o towards this next fifteen o. Now I will pick up one eleven o red and one fifteen o and pass through this middle bead.
and now back into these two beads and this 15 so here our component is done now we have to attach it to the Rivoli vessel now I would be coming out from the bead underneath the cup chain here passing through this bead Now I will come to the top of this pearl from here like this. Here We have to attach this component to this Rivoli as we have did here. So now we will be picking up 5 11 seed beads. Five eleven oh galvanized gold seed beads and pass through this pin like this pass through this bead here into this through all these this 11 -0. into these 11 -0s. like this I have come to the top bead of these five the middle one now I will pick up three eleven o's and here I will get into three seed beads here one, two, and three. Like this. Again, I will pick up three eleven or seed beads and pass through this middle one.
once again I will pass through all these beads So here like this So here <clears throat> I have passed through all these beads twice now. I will come up to this rivoli. towards its back make a knot here and pass through these beads a couple of beads just to secure our neck knot now let's cut off the thread so friends our pair of earring is ready. Our pink rose in red version. Here they are in green and these are the original pinks. If you want you can attach the ear wire to them. Friends one thing I would like to say these earrings are a work of patience i hope you would love these you would love working with or working on these earrings you would enjoy it if you like my video please like my channel and subscribe it thank you